Today, we'll look at the symptoms and causes of poor circulation in the body and how we can fix this with vitamins that improve blood flow. Poor circulation means either a lack of blood flow to certain body parts, such as the extremities, or a lack of blood flow throughout the body. In either case, it's not good news. Normal blood circulation provides oxygen and nutrients to the cells in the body through arteries, and the waste products are picked up by the veins and transported back to the liver, heart, and lungs. If the circulatory system is impaired, you could experience symptoms like numbness and tingling in the hands and feet, swelling and fluid buildup in the ankle, feet, or legs, muscle cramps, fatigue, varicose veins in the legs, memory loss, and difficulty concentrating. So, what causes poor blood circulation? The inside wall of the blood vessel is made up of thin layers of cells called vascular endothelium. Endothelial cells produce nitric oxide, a vasodilator that triggers dilation and widening of the arteries for better blood flow and lower blood pressure. As you age, these layers of cells get inflamed, and damage and tiny cracks or lesions start to appear. So in order to prevent your arteries from leaking, LDL cholesterol starts to build up around these lesions in an attempt to patch up these pockets of damage, like a band-aid, for example. Unfortunately, if you continue your sedentary lifestyle, your arteries continue to get damaged, which causes the buildup of plaque, which is a mixture of hardened calcium, scar tissue called fibrin, cholesterol, and other waste. This process can clog up your arteries and reduce the blood flow, which can give you a heart attack or other coronary artery diseases. Next, to understand how we can increase blood circulation, we need to understand nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is produced by nearly every type of cell in the human body, and it's vital for the heart, brain, immune system, and sexual health. It acts as a vasodilator, which means it relaxes the inner muscle of blood vessels, causing the vessels to widen. Enzymes called nitric oxide synthase make nitric oxide from the amino called L-arginine. Nitric oxide production can decrease due to blood circulation caused by plaque buildup in the arteries. You need healthy nitric oxide levels to optimize circulation, but to increase nitric oxide production, you need healthy circulation. The next part of this video will explain the top 10 vitamins that can boost your nitric oxide production so that you can get out of this vicious lifestyle of low nitric oxide poor circulation. We'll use the word vitamins broadly to include natural compounds like antioxidants and amino acids. Number 1. L-Arginine L-Arginine is an amino acid that helps the body build protein. It also releases nitric oxide into the blood. When you increase the amount of L-Arginine available to cells that produce nitric oxide, they make more. However, when you turn 45, your digestive system has more difficulty converting L-Arginine into nitric oxide. So just taking L-Arginine supplements or eating foods rich in L-Arginine, like red meat, fish, poultry, beans, dairy products, and whole grains may have little effect on nitric oxide levels. So the solution is to combine this amino acid with L-citrulline, which is the next nutrient on our list. L-citrulline is a byproduct of L-arginine production and is recycled back to L-arginine. Interestingly, consuming citrulline may increase arginine in the body more than consuming arginine itself. This is because of differences in how the body processes and absorbs arginine and citrulline. One of the best natural sources of citrulline is watermelon. The word citrulline comes from citrullus, a Latin word for watermelon. Other citrulline-rich fruits include cucumbers, cassava melons, and cantaloupe. Number 3. Beetroot Extract Many athletes supplement with beet powder or beet juice to help improve performance. Beets are a rich source of dietary nitrates, which are converted into nitrites by the bacteria in your saliva. Nitrites are then converted into nitric oxide. Other nitrate-rich foods include cabbage, garlic, kale, broccoli, spinach, arugula, and celery. If you're finding this information useful, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell notification button to stay updated on our latest health and nutritional tips. Number 4. Vitamin C Vitamin C is a superstar. It strengthens the arteries by boosting the production of collagen, a structural component of the blood vessel walls. It also inhibits the oxidation of LDL cholesterol, which is involved in plaque formation. Plus, it protects the endothelium. Natural sources of vitamin C include citrus fruits like oranges, kiwi, lemon, and grapefruit, bell peppers, strawberries, tomatoes, white potatoes, and cruciferous vegetables. Number 5. Hawthorn Berries In traditional Chinese medicine practice, hawthorn berry is one of the most commonly recommended foods to help treat high blood pressure. 
It has a tart, tangy taste and is rich in nutrients. Hawthorn berries are loaded with a potent antioxidant compound called polyphenol, which can neutralize unstable molecules called free radicals that harm your blood vessels when they're present at high levels. Hawthorn berries can also help your body to increase the absorption of L-citrulline and beetroot extract when you take these nutrients together. Research has found that taking 500 mg of the extract daily reduces diastolic blood pressure. Number 6. Omega-3 Fatty Acids One of the best supplements for circulation is omega-3 fatty acids. They counter inflammation, which protects the endothelium and keeps the blood vessels healthy. They also discourage platelets from sticking together and forming clots, so they help to keep your blood thin, fluid, and free. Omega-3 also encourages the release of nitric oxide in the body. Recent studies have suggested that omega-3s reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease in people at risk, such as those who smoke or have a high body mass index. Natural sources of omega-3s include fish like sardines, salmon, tuna, and mackerel. Number 7. Turmeric or Curcumin The main active ingredient in turmeric is curcumin, which is recognized as one of nature's most potent anti-inflammatories. It promotes nitric oxide release and reduces platelet aggregation, making it great for blood flow. Absorption of turmeric is notoriously poor, so make sure you get a product with enhanced bioavailability. Number 8. Resveratrol Resveratrol is a compound found in red grapes, berries, and red wine, affecting the health of the cells lining blood vessels. It triggers the release of nitric oxide and is also shown to increase the half-life of nitric oxide, allowing it to remain active for a longer period. If that weren't enough, resveratrol helps lower LDL cholesterol and prevent blood platelets from clumping together. Number 9. Glutathione Glutathione is a molecule that helps with cell repair, detoxification, and immune system function. This powerful antioxidant boosts nitric oxide levels by eliminating free radicals that damage nitric oxide molecules. To enhance glutathione levels, eat plenty of sulfur-rich foods like garlic, onions, mushrooms, and cruciferous vegetables. You can also take supplements with glutathione precursors like glutamine or N-acetylcysteine. Number 10. Ginger Ginger is a flowering plant and among the healthiest and most delicious spices on the planet. Gingerol is the main bioactive compound in ginger and is responsible for its medicinal properties. Ginger powder helps to reduce both total cholesterol and LDL, also known as bad cholesterol levels in the body that are linked to an increased risk of health problems. Gingerol's powerful anti-inflammatory properties help reduce oxidative stress, resulting in an excess amount of free radicals in the body. Remember, this video is for educational purposes. We are not giving you medical advice. You should always consult your doctor if you need any professional opinion.